Hello everyone. So today let us learn how to write uh, a case statement using uh, using MDX. Basically, what we are trying to do, we are trying to basically create some calculated measures using EZBI so that we can uh, uh, report precisely and exactly the way we want. Sometimes when you fetch things from Jira or any data source, and when you report on it. You need to manipulate things. You need to calculate few things, and we have st started looking at different measures. We have started using uh, calculations, and in this video, I of course want to continue. But I want to give you a specific example because when you are trying to write code, you may want to do something selectively or based on something, right? For example, if this happens, then do this. And case statement is. Is is one such example. Now, let us say. I mean, I'll give you a very simple example, and uh, and hopefully you can uh, use it, or maybe you can relate to it. Now, let us say you have uh, this list of issues, which is in in our case we have a list of epics. Let us say we want to do something by fetching uh, these statuses, and uh, because if you have statuses in Jira, you may have a lot of statuses like done, to do, in progress. But in reality, if you think about it, usually you have two statuses, right? Either it is done or not done, or maybe three done in progress and not done, right? Some something like that. Because in Jira, people do create a lot of statuses, and uh, many stakeholders they don't really, really care about those statuses. They just want to know is it done or not done, right? And that is what we want to do today. Let us say if the status is done. Then we'll create one more status called as okay issue completely done, and if not done, then uh, if for everything else it's not done. Simple, and you and we'll use a case statement. So we'll define a new calculated measure. Let us name it as uh, issue or custom status, and uh, the way case statement works is you will write something like case when, and then you will select here. Or type here uh, what you want to check. Maybe we want to check for the status. So issue status. And by the way, these statuses that you are, uh, or basically the the measures that you are trying to use here, it should make sense because in this case, the report that we are trying to generate, it is talking about issues, right? So this will not really work for something else. Like maybe if you want to display something else, uh, it may not work. I mean, not always, but it depends. It depends how you want how you want to want to manipulate. Because issue is for the issue status is for issue, not really for project, right? But uh, let us continue. So when issues case when measure dot issue status is equal to, so it's not double equal to, it's only equal to uh, done. And and by the way, while uh, I mean, uh, why are you watching my video? So. In case you are trying to learn few things, just go to the EZBI website. They have plenty of examples, case statement, and if you look here, they have these examples, right? So you can definitely um, learn from these examples. Now, if you look at this, um, and by the way, I don't, to be honest, I don't really know MDX. I just know few things because I, I, I think I'm good in uh, reading something. Like I, I'll find a piece of code, I'll modify it, but that is all you need to do. You need to know, right? That is enough. As long as you're comfortable with the code or the concept of programming. Now, case when major slot issue status is equal to done, you can then uh, do something, and that would be you need to return. So you can just write uh, issue completely, completely with the right spelling, I guess. Right. I prefer the indentation. Else, um, issue not done, right? And finally, you have to end it. Simple. That is it. So it's a like a very simple example. But let us see how it works. And you can of course do mistakes here because uh, it will not work, or you will get some error. So you can see here that we have the custom status. So it says here uh, done. So it means uh, issue completely done, right? And by the way, so this is something that you need to check. Like if 
the issue status is uh, let us say um, because r right now there is like none no epic because it means that there, there are some stories or some stories without an epic without a parent epic so this will of course not really going to reflect uh, something which is correct because we are we are saying issue not done but uh, what what issue not done because uh, we can actually add in our in our code in our logic some kind of uh, maybe logic condition to check if uh, if the if the issue status or in reality it can be you know the current uh, or usually when when we talk about hierarchy in this case it, it is hierarchy but if the issue if the current hierarchy is not an issue or it is not really a proper status like this empty just don't do anything right so we can probably enhance it so this is something that i wanted to talk about so this is not really relevant relevant really re relevant at, at this level although it more it won't really break anything because uh, the report will still work but of course people might count this particular text in their report now if you look at this report oh yeah done is issued completely done in progress yes fine so this looks good to me and of course uh, if you look at uh, this uh, this particular uh, code or case statement it's very simple all we are doing is we are just checking for something then uh, you can also ex you, you can also you know do of course more you can do some calculations based on this usually when you're trying to when you're trying to uh, write some code in any language try to check for those conditions or those things that can go wrong or maybe they are not relevant so that report makes sense or whatever you're trying to do makes sense so this is of course uh, a very simple example and uh, uh, you can use these kind of conditions even when you're doing con conditional formatting so that uh, your uh, cells individual cells can maybe be displayed in a different color based on that particular condition it may not be always like a straightforward okay if this is equal to this then red color sometimes you need to have some business logic and we'll also cover that don't worry all right that is all i'll probably save the report because i don't really want to lose my calculated measure and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something something really cool and new today and uh, I am actually making a lot of videos on EZBI nowadays and uh, EZBI is uh, really good one of I mean it's not really a good app not really a it is not just a good app it's not just my favorite app but I think uh, it actually solves a problem and i always prefer something that will give you this ability that you can i mean uh, when you install an app you get some features right but if those features can be extended like in this case in the, in the case of ecbi you can actually do endless things when it comes to reporting within jira of course there are limits of or there, there are always some limitations or uh, some use cases where ecbi uh, might not be the best app but in most cases ecbi actually works really well for reporting all right and by the way in case you in case you're a company in case you are watching this video or maybe if you think in your in your company in your organization you have a need to maybe report on things and you're struggling and you need expert advice then yeah do reach out do reach out to us you can of course raise a ticket for me or just send me a message we'll help you all right that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something. Bye-bye.